Are you a fan of The Last of Us? Who would have thought that a popular 2013 video game would become one of the biggest TV series of 2023, averaging more than 30 million views an episode? Although the show is based in the US, guess what? It was filmed entirely in Alberta, Canada, one of the most beautiful provinces in the country. So in this video, we're going to show you some of the best filming locations that you can use to create an awesome Alberta road trip. In case you didn't know, The Last of Us Season 1 was filmed in our home province of Alberta. And it's become a pretty big deal here because not only does it showcase so much of the province and so much of the beauty that can be found here, but it's also the largest production in Alberta's history. So as I mentioned, it was shot pretty much all over the province, but significantly it was shot here in our home city of Calgary, as well as in the mountain regions around Canmore. But they actually went as far south as places like Nanton, Fort McLeod and Lethbridge, and even as far north as our capital city of Edmonton. So we thought, why not turn this into a video that you can do a road trip and visit some of these locations. We focused on kind of the best locations that you can actually see, because of course, like all movies, some of the sets were made just for The Last of Us and were torn down after. So we're gonna show you the places that you can actually go visit and while you're here you might as well turn it in to a vacation experience some of the best things to do so to do that you can also check out our travel guides which we'll put links to in the description below to kick things off we're here in downtown Calgary where a lot of The Last of Us was filmed so we're gonna focus on the different locations that really stand out because of course some of the locations no longer exist or maybe they're just a small scene inside a building and there's not much point in going there but this is a great place to start because as a tourist it's obviously very central lots of different modes of transportation and even for people like us who live here it's really cool to come down and see the locations that were in one of your favorite shows so to start things off we're actually here at the Calgary Court Center Parkade this building was actually in episode 5 and it was Fedra's headquarters. So there was fires lit off and fireworks. It was really kind of that, that riot type of atmosphere. But they even built a fake entrance into the side of the building. So right behind me now is Globe Cinema on 8th Avenue. This is a really old cinema that plays kind of low budget movies and uh, old movies and things like that. But you might remember it from episode 4 when Joel and Ellie are driving down the street of Kansas City in the truck so you'll actually see Globe Cinema right in the frame. Now we're at the Canadian Bank of Commerce Heritage Building right behind me on First Street Calgary and this was actually in episode two as the Bostonian Museum. Of course it looked a lot different because it was covered in vines and this is where Joel, Ellie and Tess went inside the museum and unfortunately where Tess got bitten by one of the clickers. So not far from what we know as the Bostonian Museum, we're now in Kansas City. So this part of the show was mostly filmed around what's called the Warehouse District, a really beautiful old area of Calgary that's kind of in between 10th and 11th Avenue around McLeod Trail and right next to the famous Calgary Stampede Grounds. So the most famous scene, even though you could see little parts of this all over the show, the most famous scene is the alley when Joe and Ellie are driving in the truck and they're going down there and that's the staircase where they actually drop the cinder block onto the windshield of the truck and then they keep driving through the alley and they eventually crash into a laundromat. Now that laundromat doesn't exist, it was built specifically for the show, but this is the alley that they drove down. It's hard to know exactly where they built the laundromat, but it was definitely in this parking lot and it was definitely on this side because that's the direction the truck would have been coming. But another cool thing is you actually get some great views here of the Telus Sky Building, the Bow, and the Calgary Tower. And right around the corner from the laundromat is where Joel and Ellie were hiding in the alley, except instead of a dumpster, it was a Nissan Murano. And then he ran across into the building. <laughs> so now we're on the corner of McLeod Trail and 6th Avenue where you'll find the old Calgary Public Library building which is now the Calgary Police Servicing Building and ironically enough in the show it was used as the ex-Fedra headquarters so there was chain barbed wire fences here you had military lined up with their guns so it's kind of a cool scene to check out and it's also a great place as a tourist because right behind this building is Olympic Plaza, you have City Hall, you have the Bow Building and the Sea train line so it's a great place to come and check out. Yeah, you really look like a guard baby. That face you, is it hey. all. <laughs> <laughs> So 
Well, now it's time for lunch. So we took a little trip across beautiful Center Street Bridge, just north of downtown to this Vietnamese noodle house. That has great reviews, by the way. But of course, in the show, it's known as the Jakarta restaurant in episode two, where they found out the really bad news when the Indonesian police found the scientist who knows all about Earth fungus, told her about what was happening on, and she advised them to bomb the entire country. Well, what a treat for a cold day. They bring you some tea and we got a chicken curry soup with vermicelli noodles and our favorite chicken pad thai. And it's so funny because in the in the TV show it's a it's a place in Indonesia, but here you can get Vietnamese soup, a Thai food. The owners are actually from Laos. <laughs> I love it. Well, not only was Southeast Asia one of our favorite places to explore, it's also one of our favorite foods, so we're pretty excited to try a new restaurant for us here in Calgary. And so far, first impressions, the place looks super cool. I could see why they would have chose this for the show. And it also just looks so clean. They have everything so neatly tidy on the table, even have your little hand sanitizer there. And best of all, food looks good. It's really good though, and just enough space. The portions are huge and this looks so good. It comes with peanuts. Good flavor. Yeah, we're definitely gonna come back. <laughs> it's very good. Now we've moved on to SAIT, which is the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. And this is extra cool for me because this is actually where I went to study business many, many years ago. But this was always one of my favorite buildings. This is Heritage Hall, definitely one of the most beautiful old buildings in Calgary. And this is where a lot of episode six was filmed in the fictional University of Eastern Colorado. So this is actually where Joel and Ellie were going around on horse trying to find the fireflies because this is supposed to be where they were. It turns out they weren't here anymore. They had abandoned the place. And of course, this is where Joel eventually got stabbed with, a, I believe it was a piece of a baseball bat and almost died from that wound. So this is a pretty significant part of the story. And if you're in Calgary, one of the nice things is you can actually access SAIT uh, through the sea train. So it's easy to get to. And it's really worthwhile to visit, even though you wouldn't want to go inside. We're not going to go inside to show any of the interior shots, but just to see this building, get some photos. And it also has some spectacular views of Calgary. Right behind me, is the 4th Avenue Flyover Bridge, a bridge in Calgary that takes you from Memorial Drive into downtown Calgary via 4th Avenue. It's always been one of my favorite bridges, not so much because of the bridge itself, but because of the views you get of the city as you're driving into it. And for me, it was one of the first most iconic images of Calgary I saw in The Last of Us during episode two. So if you are visiting and you wanna see this place, you actually can't walk across the bridge, it's only for traffic, but you can come where we are underneath the bridge get some shots of it and then go for a walk along the river's edge. This is a really popular walk here that takes you along the Bull River where you can bike or walk and see most of the most scenic places in the city. For day two, we're now gonna be heading south of the city, but before we do, we stopped in Fish Creek Provincial Park, which is actually one of the largest urban parks in North America. And the reason why we're here is this bridge right behind us. So this is the Shannon Terrace Bridge, and you might remember it from episode three, when Joel and Ellie can be found walking across the bridge as they make their way to Billstown. So if you wanna come here and see it, it's actually a great spot to visit even as a tourist, because it's just a really scenic place to go for a walk in the forest without leaving the city. <laughs> Ow! These birdies are so cute! This next scene is actually filmed in order because right after crossing the bridge in Fish Creek Park, Joel and Ellie came to this convenience store where Joel had left some stuff behind over the years that would help them on their journey. So this is the same convenience store where Ellie would have found the clicker when she went into the basement. She ended up stabbing it in the face. So that's this place. It's called the Pritis General Store. It's about 15 minutes west of Calgary. 
And if you come over this way, you can also stop at the Anne and Sandy Cross Conservation Area. It's basically an area of hills, and that's also in the, in the series. I'm pretty sure that's where you see the plane on top of the hill when it's crashed, when they're doing their walk. And another place you can go if you continue driving is down to Bragg Creek, where you can visit uh, Elbow Falls, which was also featured in the series. We can't go there, unfortunately, because it's closed during the winter time. As we make our way further south of Calgary, we're now in the small town of Okotoks. Not a lot was filmed here, but we wanted to stop here for a couple of reasons. One, we used to live here and our parents still live here, so it kind of feels like home. But two, a very important scene was actually shot here. However, it was shot at someone's house, so it's not like you can go in and see it. But right behind me is the house where Joel and Ellie went after Joel took a piece of the baseball bat in the stomach in episode six. And there's actually pictures on the internet of Ellie inside the garage here with the horse with her and Joel would have been in the basement. So it's kind of cool that it was shot here in Okotoks. Just 20 minutes south of Okotoks is another small town called High River. Now there's not a lot here that you can see from uh, The Last of Us, but there is one place, Evelyn's Memory Lane Diner. So inside you'll notice that that's where they shot part of episode one when Joel is running with his daughter Sarah after the collapse of society basically they run through there and there's also another key episode that was shot here episode three with Billstown that whole town is based here in High River but unfortunately it no longer exists because what had happened was this town went through a devastating flood in 2013 that community was wiped out so they actually built that set from scratch and when they were finished they tore it down. As you continue south down Highway 2, not far from High River, you'll find a little town called Nanton. And this is where you'll find the Ranchland Inn, which was the abandoned motel that Joel, Ellie, Sam, and Henry stayed in after escaping Kansas City. And of course, this was the scene, the very sad scene, where of course they found out that uh, Sam had been infected. And of course, Henry ended up shooting Sam and then shooting himself. And they buried the bodies right across the street. Now we're in Fort McLeod, a small town even further south in Alberta. And this one is home to what in the show was portrayed as Austin, Texas in episode one. So they pretty much used all of 24th Street and the surrounding area. This is actually a really popular area in a number of films, including Ghostbusters, just because of the buildings. But right around the corner from here was Lone Star Jewelry and Watch Repair, which is where Sarah repaired Joel's watch, also in episode one. And if you want to open a watch shop, just like in the show, the space is actually available. For our last stop here in Southern Alberta, we're in the city of Lethbridge, which is actually where Carla and I met more than a decade ago when we were studying at the University of Lethbridge. But one of the coolest things to see here in the city is the Lethbridge Viaduct, which is also known as the High Level Bridge. This is actually the longest and highest of its kind in the world, but you might remember it from episode four because you can really distinctly see it as they're driving across the highway, except of course in the show they made it look like uh, part of the bridge had collapsed and the train had actually gone off the bridge. But it's a cool thing to see and even though this is our last stop on this tour, there's actually one more place even further south that was featured in episode 8 and that's Waterton Lakes National Park. It's a really beautiful place to visit. We don't have time to go there today but we have been there before in both the winter and the summer so if you do get a chance we definitely highly recommend going. For our last day, we're here in Canmore and the Kananaskis region, two really stunning locations here in Alberta. And that's where you'll find a lot of the mountain scenery used in The Last of Us, as well as pretty much everything from episode six as Joel and Ellie make their way to the fictional town of Jackson, Wyoming. So to start off, we definitely recommend doing a drive into the Kananaskis. If you're here in the summer, you can do many of the hikes. It's just a beautiful place to visit. You can stop at Barrier Lake and find the lookout point where Joel and Ellie looked over that fictional town of Jackson, Wyoming. Then you can head over to Sieb Dam. Small area, you won't really see much of the dam because a lot of it's on private property. But either way, it's a beautiful place to stop and it's not far off the highway. 
But even more spectacular than that really is the Canmore Engine Bridge. This is seen in episode six as Joel and Ellie walk across it when it's snowing. It's a great place to come for a walk. You get to see a lot of the scenery. It's just a beautiful place to visit and very easy to visit in the town of Canmore. Then from here, you can actually walk right into the town and go down Main Street, which was used as Jackson, Wyoming, when Joel finally met up with his younger brother, Tommy. So the only other place, well, the only other major place we're not gonna be visiting in this video is Edmonton, which you can see in episode two with the legislative buildings. We have been there before. We do have a video about it. So you definitely wanna make sure you check that out. And other than that, we hope you like this video. We hope we inspired you to visit. And if you do decide to do a Last of Us road trip in Alberta, we hope you take the time to experience some of the many things there are to do here. We have videos and travel guides on many of the destinations, including Canmore, Edmonton, Lethbridge, and Calgary. So we're gonna be putting links to all of that in the description below. And if you like this video, of course, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, leave us a comment. We always love to hear from everyone. And to learn more about things to do across the country, check out our website at mustdocanada.com. Don't show people your shoes. <laughs> Just in case you come here when it's uh, kind of springtime or probably after any kind of rainfall, you're gonna get muddy.